Hey, we're in studio today. We're shooting a boudoir session. Um, and we're, we decided to rent a studio that's a little bit more uh, eclectic, something a little bit more uh, like a house. Uh, so we have, you know, nice exposed brick walls and old couches and stuff like that. Um, but because it isn't a regular photo studio that we're renting, it doesn't usually come with the grip equipment that we're used to having. So this is very uh, similar to when I do a lot of shoots uh, in people's houses or on location of sorts. Uh, I can't always bring a ton of gear with me. So I usually always work with an assistant though. And because of that, uh, what I've done in the past is use the assistant to help get me get the light up over top of our subject. And to do that, I've typically used something like this, which is a just a standard issue monopod and maybe a swivel on top with a speed light attached to a light dome or uh, something along those lines. But uh, this has been my, uh, like a go-to piece for me for a long time because this allows the assistant to go up and over and hold this. The problem with this setup that I've always had is that the assistant tends to get tired really, really quickly um, because they're holding this out here and it just, they're, they're, their arms are naturally gonna get tired. So even when you start extending this, the problems just compound because now you're holding an even thinner part of the monopod, so it's rough on the hands. And if you are gonna try and pin it on your waist, now you got this sharp little pokey point right there. And the biggest problem I have is really that I have to keep resetting the shot because I've gotta give my assistant a few seconds to, to break. And then when I do come back to the shot, depending on what type of light I have and how controlled that light is, if they don't put it back exactly the way it was, the light's not falling in exactly the same way. So, you know, in a lot of studio setups, we do use heavy duty booms with uh, our larger light domes and octodomes on them. But in, on location, you don't always have the, the, either the ceiling height or the ability to set something like that up. So this has worked really good. But Photoflex has come out with something new, something a little bit better uh, and designed specifically for this use rather than this, what I call kind of like a hack job. This is a Lightreach Plus. This thing is one of the better tools that you're gonna find if you have assistance and you want them to hold a light source over top in kind of like a boom style fashion. First thing you'll notice right off the bat, this is much beefier than, than most monopods. I know you can spend a few hundred bucks on some heavy duty monopods that'll be really heavy duty aluminum, but your problem still exists where you're holding the thinnest end with the hands and uh, you don't have these nice foam grips on there. So even when this is cold, because um, it's, uh, it's quite a few degrees below freezing outside here today, these, even if we were outside, you could still hold these without your hands freezing. Also, we've got a nice big rubberized ball on the top here, and this is gonna be used for two different things. One, when you pin it against your hip, you're gonna be able to be a lot more comfortable and it will just grip a little bit better because this rubberized part is somewhat sticky. It's not, a, it's not a smooth surface. Also, when you do ex start extending this up, you can pin this against your foot on the floor. Now, of course, I haven't extended this all the way because it won't fit in the video frame, but this is gonna go out about 10 feet. So this is also much, much longer than your standard issue monopod, which really does help out quite a bit because now you can get over further or up higher depending on what you need. And so you can very easily put something like a Triton up top, which is something that I typically do, um, or you can put a speed light in a, inside of a light dome, whatever makes sense. But this is a far better product than any monopod you can get because it's actually designed for this particular application. So we got heavy duty aluminum, it's nice and thick, very rigid, and when you do extend it out, you're not gonna see that massive sag you'd see in a monopod because you're grossly overweighting it. So really, you should check this thing out, and we're gonna shoot a whole bunch today with this, and you're gonna see what we can do with it. <laughs> 